My name is Peter Greenaway and I believe I'm one of the few in Australia that can still repair jukeboxes back to their former glory. I remember my first service call. I was five years old. Uh, we had to service a jukebox in Lawn uh, at the Koala Cafe and my job was to bring in the toolbox so we could repair that machine. <laughs> the demand for fixing jukeboxes at the moment is probably at an all-time high. Most of the machines are owned by private uh, people in private homes and I would probably get somewhere between 10 and 12 calls a day with new inquiries from all over Australia to fix jukeboxes. Is it easy to fix jukeboxes? In most cases for me, yes. However, I learn something new every day and sometimes I might get stuck could I put on an apprentice to help me? Probably not. A lot of the knowledge I've learnt is when I was a little kid and it's stuck, in, it's ingrained in my memory. Now, I don't know why that stopped at the moment, but that's my job to try and work it out. And that's why the machine is in for service. Now, the turntable motor has stopped and I've been trying to get it to stop. There we go. <laughs> To try and teach somebody 50 years of different jukeboxes, that would be a bit of a task. I love the uniqueness of working with jukeboxes. Every time I hear a record, I associate it with where I've been. I can tell you just about what year. And so, yeah, I love them. <laughs>